Gaga Gigo's journey into adulthood. In his youth, he grew up healthy and strong under his father's and mother's watchful eyes. But one day, he lost his sense of reason and turned into a savage monster that just destroyed one thing after another. What happened to Gaga Gigo? Let us look back on his life as he grew into a man. Childhood, the days of Gigo Bite. Immediately after being born, Gigo Bite started to walk. This kid'll surely be a big shot someday. As if in response to the affection and expectations that his parents and grandparents poured upon him, he spent his childhood living carefree. Also, his beady eyes were really cute, full of pep and vigor. A naughty boy, as a kid, he was probably a bit too naughty and spoiled. He played every day until it was dark, and came home covered in cuts. You could definitely say he was a mischievous kid who was a bit too much for his parents to handle. He grew up with the reputation of neighborhood bad boy, but he was pretty popular with other kids as the boss, a bratty bully. Can you make 100 friends? The school decided to have a play as part of its arts festival. Though Gee Go Bite auditioned for a leading role, he unfortunately ended up with a role as a crowd member, and his only line was, over there. Although he was just an extra, he stepped forward, showing off to everyone. He ended up being scolded by the teacher, with everyone. As Ga Ga Gi Go, he became a hot-tempered, rebellious youth. Ga Ga Gi Go is him when he gained a burly physique. These are his teenage years. Because of the agonies of love, he ended up in one fight after another. But who is the certain person he worked so hard and seriously to meet? That certain person is? The light and darkness of his youth. He attacked the girl he liked, but the results were a failure. The girl never even read the letter he spent all night writing. Ga Ga Gi Go fell to his knees in shock. His first love vanished with the dew, his first frustrations. Fighting every day from dawn to dusk, to cover the pain of rejection, Ga Ga Gi Go ended up fighting again and again. There's no one in that neighborhood who doesn't know his name. So continued the endless days of new wounds that wouldn't close. His day-to-day -day life is one fight after another. It's a simple one-on-one -on -one fight. Let's settle this fight one-on-one. -on -one. But he did lose a few times, though that didn't stop him from fighting. Powering himself up with snappy looking armor. As those rough days went on and on, people started calling him by the nickname, Gi Ga 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 Gi Go. Finally, he equipped himself with armor, but he could no longer feel alive in battle. What had he become? It's rust proof. Fights with his rival, free. When men talk, they don't use silly things like words. They understand each other if they punch one another. Ga Ga Gi Go's fights with his rival, Freed, might have been therapeutic for him. They talk with their fists, they became each other's rivals. A strange friendship ended up forming between them. The score between them is 24 wins and 26 losses for Ga Ga Gi Go, so Freed is slightly in the lead. Even if you read it backwards, it's still Go Gi Ga 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 Gi Go. In the end, his soul collapsed, and he was never able to return to just being Ga Ga Gi Go. His body is now out of control and thirsts for destruction. Is it possible that, maybe, one day, he'll return to being plain old Ga Ga Gi Go? If it is, then maybe one day, his smiling face will be seen again. His body's out of control. Ga Ga Gi Go from Freed's perspective. In the old days, we were rivals who enjoyed fighting each other. Though I've heard rumors that he's completely changed these days. What? Someone who could reawaken that guy's heart of justice? Sorry, I don't have any idea, myself. He was a good guy back then. 